I hope you guys uh, that like snow are building out here do take the opportunity roll while you got it because it ain't gonna last very long only another month or so it'll probably be gone or maybe a little more than a month maybe a month and a half and probably all the snow will be gone yeah but it got pretty cold here overnight I uh, looked it up it was uh, minus 22 Celsius it was pretty cold already and that uh, in terms is uh, seven I think seven minus seven point six zero Fahrenheit I think that's what it came out to be so that was cold this morning that's all right a Manitoba is supposed to be even more colder than that come Friday I think it's supposed to be like minus 23 the highest and it's supposed to go down overnight to minus 31 that's crazy that's gonna be a cold one I'm gonna have to make sure I put some uh, fuel additives into my diesel tomorrow when I fuel up to make sure that I don't get myself in trouble right that's right and then at the same time when I get home you know I'm gonna make sure I feel the fill the sucker right up I know I'm gonna be fueling tonight but it's another eight hours to Winnipeg from there and then another hour back home so that's nine hours worth of driving so I've probably used uh, quite a bit of fuel in that time already especially when it gets cold you know it seems like the truck uses more fuel when it's cold like that so uh, so yeah I think we're gonna have to take care of that I might even just leave my truck over at Penner's uh, on Friday night just to uh, leave the APU unit running you know because I can't leave it running overnight at my house because of my neighbor complaining about the noise so I'm gonna have to uh, probably park it at Penner's so the APU unit can run all night long because I don't really want to shut it off because uh, if I shut it off I might not even be able to start that one on, on Saturday morning you know and that would suck because then I would never be able to start the truck if I can't start the APU unit so so we'll see what we'll do exactly but uh, I'm thinking on Saturday I'll probably go wash the truck but Saturday it's supposed to warm up again so Saturday I might be able to bring the truck home again maybe I'll go wash it on Saturday and then bring it back home never know but anyways let's get on down the road here we go guys we are coming into Sudbury Ontario that's right we gotta climb a little bit of a hill up here to uh, I guess just before the turn off where we turn off to go on to highway 17 that's right to where we go towards Sudbury uh, Sudbury, we are at Sudbury towards uh, South St. Marie. That's right. In 400 meters, take the entrance to the yeah. right on Highway 17 West on the E17 West Salt Sea. I know I've been here several times before, and I do have a good friend of mine that lives just straight north of here by the name of 42 North Side on the internet, anyways. That's not his real name, but. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that by this time, by the time you watch this video, which is seven days from today, today is Thursday, that by next week, Thursday, while well, this video comes out, you will have received the package that I have sent you. I know you are probably uh, wondering what it is uh, right now. I don't think you know about it, but I told yeah, you earlier in the text that uh, I do have a surprise for you and uh, by hopefully by the end of the week or early next week you will know what it is I really hope you do get it because I did send you something and you're not aware of what I sent you but uh, we did send you something yeah that's right so that's wave goodbye to 42 north side I know you're probably watching from over there, just north of here. You're probably sitting back in your recliner, lazy chair, 
They're watching me on the big screen right now. <laughs> well, we appreciate that, man. That's right. Without our viewers, there wouldn't be no show. I wouldn't be continuing if I had no viewers. So that's the way it goes. So, looks like we got 300 kilometers to go up to South St. Marie. And then we gotta make another turn. We gotta go through South St. Marie. So that's uh, just over three hours drive up to South St. Marie. Yeah, it's a cold one out here today. That's for sure. Well, we did do uh, fuel up there last night. We did put in a gallon of kerosene. And I'm gonna make sure we fuel up tonight, as I said earlier in my video, but uh, yeah, I'm a little worried, I guess, this week about diesel fuel freezing, but I know Canada has got good fuel and they put additives into their fuel and hopefully that's gonna do the job and keeping me from not freezing up. Cause that would suck being frozen up out here on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. I would get cold, really cold. I would get really cold up here. If not freeze to death. Well, I mean, there's lots of vehicles on this road usually, so should be all right. Somebody should stop, pretty sure. But anyways, figured I would show you guys a little bit of Sudbury. That's right. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are coming into South St. Marie, Ontario. It's beautiful out here today. As expected, nice and sunny up here. I love it. I love it. Coming up here to the left is where we have the Husky Truck Sub. And uh, recently, I don't know if I talked about this on, uh, on video yet or not. I think I did a while back ago, but maybe I didn't. I forget. But uh, they were building a brand new Fly and J on the other side of the uh, South Saint Marie, and I was just off the. I just got off the phone with my friend Barry, and he said it was open last time he come through here. So I'm gonna roll right through here. I was gonna stop here at the Husky, but I'm gonna roll right through and I'm gonna go to the uh, Fly and J, and uh, I'm gonna go check out that brand new Fly and J that they got up there. Yeah. I'm so happy that they finally built a Flying J up here. Not that I'm a big fan of Flying J, uh, but we needed more truck star, uh, more truck parking up here. Because the, this is a good area where a lot of truck stops for overnight. You know, they might leave like that say mid morning or something like that out of Toronto. And this is about as far as they want to drive for the night, you know? And then they stay the night over here. Well, we had such a little parking spot there. I mean, it's not bad, bad, you know, over there at the Husky, but it's not a very big, uh, very big uh, truck stop there. So uh, it's nice to see that they're finally building a Flying J or that they built the Flying J. So we're going to go check it out. We're going to see what they got inside too what they got for goodies and see I'm kind of curious if they got a Denny's in there or or what they got in there and I just a penner to move in the other direction so I've got to say hi to him right but yeah I'm kind of curious to find out what they got so we'll go over there and we'll see what they got right well guys we left that flying J already yeah, I was gonna show you that a little bit but then I got distracted a little bit, so, uh, but it is not a big Flying J either. It's not bad, but it's similar to the Husky, but at least it provides some more parking, right? And they did have a Subway sandwich uh, place in there, like a Subway restaurant, or fast food, or whatever you want to call it. But here we are. It was nice sunshine when we pulled in there. Oh, look at this. Now we're going right by the lake there to the left. You can see the lake, and now it's snowing. I'm assuming that's that lake effect snow that they always talk about. Yeah, that's what I think what it is. Yep, oh, I can actually see a little bit of water up there too yet. A little bit further down, the, uh, down that way. 
we can see some water from what it looks like. Yeah, no, it's not really that cold this year, so looks like the lake is not really frozen too much. But that is a big lake too, so probably won't get frozen too much. Well, I guess it's probably because they got a little bit of a river up here. Yeah, that's probably what it is. An absolutely gorgeous country out here, that's for sure. Well, let's see, we got 157 kilometers up to uh, Wawa, and I think it's at 657 or something like that up to Thunder Bay. So that's a long way to go yet. Yeah. Hmm, yeah. It definitely is, but. Oh well, we got light flurries. And if it's not going to snow more than what it is actually right now, we should be okay. Road is good. I mean, you can't really ask for any better road than this in winter, right? But yeah. Our goal is to make it to close to Thunder Bay there, just before Thunder Bay there is up flying, eh? Hey? That's our goal for tonight. But we gotta get through these hilly stretches first. Well, right now you don't really see a lot of hills, but uh, here in a little bit you probably will if I turn on the camera, right? I guess it's gonna be depending on that as well, but uh, I think here in a little bit you probably will start seeing some hills. If it's not snowing too much, we'll be able to show it to you. We do have some pretty good pulls up here, coming up here between uh, Now and White River, or uh, Wawa I meant to say. Yeah, oh well, we gotta get through it. Only way to do it. Here we go, here we go. We just climbed a little bit of a hill and this is a big one. It might not look as steep as what it actually is, but it is a steep one and uh, we're going to have to give her all that she's got. We're downshifting. Here we go. We're going to be going pretty slow by the time we get all the way to the top. That's right, here we go again. Here we go next gear. We are downshifting. That's right. That's right. And we're not done yet, probably. We might have to shift another gear down. Here we go. That's what I was telling you guys. It doesn't look as bad on camera than what it really is, you know, but it really is steep. But I think this is generally about where I can hold her. That feels like that too. There we go, now we're able to upshift again. Yep, that's right, that's right. So, now we can go one more gear up and then we got one more left and we're in top gear again. But they always say what goes up must come down. So we're not going to shift into high gear, I think we're just going to leave it right there because it goes down, so we're gonna have a little bit of uh, engine brake power, you know? But this right lane in, so we gotta move over. Yeah, just too bad it's a little bit uh, snowing right now, so the air is a little thick, you can't really see the, well, maybe you can see the big hills up there, but maybe not. Well, what goes up must come down, they always said, and they got that shit right. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. We're going to be all the way at the bottom over there, eh? But be soon we will. Need a load? Flatbed truckers required. Oh, okay. That's what that sign said there to the right. I don't see where that company could be out here, but I've <laughs> never seen them up here. But then again, you never know, right? You can be just about anywhere. Doesn't mean because we don't see them on the side of the highway that they're not there, right? They could be somewhere in the middle of nowhere. 
there we go. I think we're at the bottom pretty much now. Yeah, pretty much up and down all over this area up here. There we go. We're a bit more on a flat ground now, so. But I figured I would show you that big one there. That's uh, not, I don't think that's quite the biggest one yet that we gotta climb, but that's one of the bigger ones up here. But I think there's one bigger one coming up later on. That's a long one too. It's a long uh, up climb. And so that one I think we shift down even a bit more yet. We'll see if we can show you that one today. Here we go guys. We're coming around the bend. And this is uh, one of the biggest sails out here in my opinion. Now you take a good look at it and you might say, well... I don't see it going uphill at all, right? But it actually is. It is very deceiving, this one. You can hear my engine working real hard, probably. If I shut up, right? Hey, you can hear it. Here we go. Yeah, it kind of goes around the bend over there a little bit where you see the trucks coming and it still goes up a good long way. This is one of the toughest ones to get over. Well, it looks like it's okay, though. Like there you saw a little bit ago, it was snowing and still a little bit flurries in the air, but now you can almost see the sun pop through. That's right. So, let's see if we can conquer this big hill today. When you come down, you can actually see it quite a bit better, but when you go up, because it goes around like a bend like this, you don't really see it that much, but... We're going to try and conquer it. We're not, I think we're only about halfway up there yet. Yeah. I think as soon as we go around a couple more bends up here, that's when we're done with it. But We're climbing and we're climbing. I guess it's uh, basically we're getting further away from the lakes. And so we got to go over these mountains in order to... Uh, get away from here I suppose no other way around it yeah look at that yep here comes another bend absolutely gorgeous area though Steep down right ahead. but I would hate to want to go up here if it's icy <laughs> like it was in Pennsylvania yikes that would be a tough one I don't think I even would try it without chains. But we're just about to tip over to the top, I think. Yep, that's what it looks like. It looks like the other one is starting to go down. So there you have it. That's one of the biggest ones out there today. Now you can see right there, it's starting to go down again, eh? Yeah, the sun is trying to shine through, so that's good. Well, guys, we are done for today. That's right. We are here at the... Well, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see it. But we're here at the... Uh, Flying J slash Shell, I guess you want to call it. And it's just before Thunder Bay. We managed to get our goal in today. That's fantastic yeah now we only have 726 kilometers left for tomorrow and that will get us to uh, our delivery place in Winnipeg that's right yeah I got a hold of them there earlier this morning and they are open till 10 p.m. so we can do our delivery tomorrow and yeah we went inside here had us a bite to eat very nice uh, ladies in there serving us very nice very nice uh, restaurant in there and it's kind of hidden in there too you know like you don't really see the restaurant when you come into the building you know and they are kind of like in the back so you don't really see them but uh, first time I've ever eaten this restaurant here and it's very nice very nice food you know sometimes for me when I go to a restaurant, uh, I really enjoy it when I have a good waitress. You know, it doesn't matter if it's a lady or a guy. If I get served really good, 
uh, that's what's really sometimes the most important for me because I'm in you know out here on the road all day long by myself uh, when I finally go inside to a restaurant I would I really hate it when I get a waitress that's got a bad attitude that you know I've, and I've gotten it trust me I have I've sat at the table for half an hour before I even got a drink you know and there was pretty much nobody in the restaurant you know it was just I have gotten terrible service in some places but but this particular place is good she's right there she uh, knows you know when you need a new uh, cup of coffee or you know when your coffee is getting low they you know they constantly check on you make sure everything is good you know that's what I call a professional waitress but they did their good job in here so that's fantastic I appreciate their service you know like when uh, when I get uh, good service like that, that's very much appreciated. I don't know who's keep text texting me there on Facebook. But we are ready to go to bed. I hope I uh, explained myself a little bit. And uh, I hope you guys feel the same way. And if you do, leave me a comment down there below what you think of my today's video or whatever I talked about. Whatever you saw today. Give me a comment. I know 42 Northside. He's got a bit of a boost today. I know he got a good uh, ride along the northern uh, shore up here. By the lakes and all that. So I know he's going to be liking it very much. Oh yeah, I know you're going to be watching it too. Because you know when I come to this area. And uh, I pretty much almost always text you. right? So he kind of has a good idea when I come through this area. So he always makes sure that I watch it, right? So, But anyways, we got to get to bed. So we'll see you guys again tomorrow. And I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And stick around for tomorrow. Because we got some good shows coming up again. So thanks for watching. And we'll catch you on the next one. Right here at Trucker Rudy. This behind me, that day is gonna come. I'm breaking the walls down.